What's up guys? How's it going? As you can clearly see, I'm moving. The whole time I'm packing boxes and just cleaning. The only thing that I want to do, obviously, is I just want to play some video games, man. I just want to sit down, play some video games, just hang out, and not have to worry about any of this stuff. While I was doing all this, I was just thinking, I was like, hey, like, what's going on in the gaming community right now? What, what are we talking about currently? The narrative of gamers are playing older games kind of gives off a negative tone, right? It's just so weird to me that there are so many headlines and all of these gamer pages and journalists that are reporting on the downturn of modern gaming and saying, oh, gamers are playing older games. I wonder why. And it's like, you really don't know why? Like, you need clicks that bad? <laughs> One of the reasons I think gamers are playing older games is because how many of you out there have played a game and then you see this gigantic day one patch and i don't know what your internet connection is like but for us regular folks that can take a long time you can come home from work have the new game put the cd in if you want or have the download done and by the time the download is done there's like another one already going like you're releasing the game incomplete and when you're releasing the game at that stage we as gamers know, we as consumers know that the game that we're receiving now is not going to be the same game that we're going to be playing in a couple of months. And that there's two sides to that, the negative and the positive. Larian Studios, Baldur's Gate 3, still releasing updates, major updates to this day for free. The Suicide Squad game is the other side of that. And when you are hyping this game up with marketing and you're talking about all the content that's going to be available, let's be real. You didn't even need to play the game and know that there just wasn't anything to do because you have to wait until all that new content comes out. <laughs> so when at launch, there isn't enough for us to explore and the promise of, hey, like you're going to have all this stuff later. For me, it just isn't working. Uh, I've hit my peak with games like that. If there's a roadmap to your game that's in early access and you're not somebody who has delivered previously, uh, Supergiant Games is a really good example of a studio that delivers on those promises. If you're not somebody who has a track record of that, I'm probably not going to check your game out. And since games are so expensive, the early access, you know, the pay extra to play a couple of days before release, all of these extra walls that are coming in, to iterate on microtransactions. The, we don't need a variety in microtransactions. Like if you're gonna release a free game, we as gamers understand that there's gonna be some paid cosmetics in there. We know that and some of us want that. That to me is okay. But when you are blocking content, like a dragon, infinite wealth by RGG Studios blocked their new game plus with PLC behind a 15 to 20 dollar paywall something that has been a main stage in games for so long they are blocking their replayability money they're paywalling it straight up and what's happening here is they now know we as gamers right the business antics the business side of gaming studios of developers they know we don't want pay to win stuff i'm not saying that doesn't happen but they know that However, when you're catering to a specific group of people who are fortunate enough to be able to dish out that kind of money, you're going to empower that. You know what I mean? It's good for business. And that's another side of us as a community is when there are games being tailored to the 1% of our community, those games, unfortunately, are going to stay alive because they have the backing and the player base at that point is going to be there because the updates are going to come by servicing the player base that is spending the most amount of money. At what point as us as consumers can we say, hey, like this is not OK, this is not acceptable. It's hard to see that there are so many journalists who are compiling data notes stating that we as gamers are playing older games. It just gives up such a negative tone without the sprinkle and the context of that we've been getting burned for the last like what like six years time that we're in right now 
a lot of what's being capitalized on is just microtransactions. And I don't mean microtransactions in games. I mean microtransactions on a business level. When a big money company and studio releases a remake or a remaster of a game, to me, that's like a microtransaction because they're preparing for a much larger launch. So what they're going to do to subsidize the fan base, they're going to release something they want so that what they release later could be received a little softer. And with those kind of business mechanics in gaming, we're, we're all performance driven. If your game looks good, whether it's art style, graphics, if it plays well, the mechanics, all that good shit. If, it, if it's a good game, we're going to tell you that. We're going to tell you that. We're going to scream it. When we have big money companies stating that we as consumers are playing older games, it's not because we don't want to play new games, it's because the older games are all finished. And if I buy Assassin's Creed Origins right now, I'm pretty sure there isn't another update with it. It's evident to me that we as a community have hit our peak. We're just we're so tired of all of these variations in microtransactions and live service that we have come to a point where we want games that don't look as good how many d makes are we seeing in the last year or two than we have in the last like four or five in the beginning of our console generation you know what i mean the big players right now are not delivering since they're not delivering for me personally i need to remember what made them so good the history of amazing games is still there that is another side of this is the business side of these studios the reason why they want to delist these games yes there's licensing issues but they also want to bring attention to their newer titles when that e when their own ecosystem is being affected the player base is going to be like, yo, what the hell are you doing? That's why game preservation is so important nowadays, because if buying isn't owning, pirating is not stealing. That is now more true than ever. Big money companies and publishers are taking away access to games that we've grown up with, games that we have paid money for. You know what I mean? There was a transaction. Could you imagine if I bought a, P uh, a controller? And they were like, all right, yo, like you've had that controller for about like eight years. It's time for you to give it back. And I'm like, am I going to get anything in return? It's like, no, we're just going to take it from you. And now you have to buy, you have to buy the new one. That makes no sense. That's theft. That's theft. Straight up. I know that there have been publishers and games that have their redemption arcs, right? Hello Games is the baby of this. I'm one that can't play no man's sky ever again because all the time that i spent at launch and then them deleting all my exploration data only to make more room in the servers i'm never gonna get that time back it just it felt like theft and i still feel salty about it even with the new update that came out even understanding that they have had their redemption arc and are still pushing content out it's amazing however me personally i can't play it ever again <laughs> i know i've been rambling just going in on the industry right now but this is just things that you think of when you're just freaking loading things packing things you're just like i just want to play video games it's crazy that the state of the industry is here now even going back a couple of years to games that are polished and clean and it's like oh like i didn't even realize this game was that good those kind of mementos is what we're looking for as gamers experiences natural experiences Video games are made by humans. And the fact that something that is human made can feel so natural and organic, that's why it's considered an art form. But when you start throwing in those artificial tendencies of money, right? We got to throw in microtransactions. We got to throw in, oh, you can't experience this part of the game unless you have a certain, unless you spend a certain amount of money. Like paywalling all of that is one of the reasons why we are where we're at now which is why we're receiving stuff like remakes remasters i'm getting a little hot here i gotta get myself a proper drink one sec the gaming community is only getting bigger and when we're at a place where we as a community of consumers aren't getting what we pay for we're, we're obviously gonna look for something that works and what works is some of the older titles the state of the industry has gotten so bad to the point where we are cheering over the fact that, oh, is there a no battle pass? 
that'll be part of a game's marketing. It's like, oh, there's no battle pass. You just play the game. The fact that we get excited over things like that, it's kind of sad. All I'm trying to say here is that there's a line. And the line has been stomped on, crossed so many times. There is no reason why these big AAA companies and publishers are releasing games at this state other than the fact that they want things out before a certain deadline. There's no reason. Pirating? <laughs> I messed it up. <laughs> Buying is not owning. Pirating is not stealing. Don't ever forget that and don't ever let anybody tell you otherwise because that's just what it is. I'd love to know what you guys think in the comments. It's just something that I was thinking about while I was freaking packing and taking care of all this nonsense behind me because I just want to play video games, man. And I'm about to hit the road. So let me know what you guys think. I got to finish up here, but thanks again. And cheers, guys. Peace.